The integrated terminal scrollback setting lets you adjust the number of lines of output that can be saved in the integrated terminal. This might be helpful if you're dealing with a command that produces lots of output, or if you want to see more of your history in the integrated terminal. Now here, for example, let's go into the integrated terminal and run a command that just produces quite a lot of output. So I'll run ls-r here. You could also think of this as simulating um, having quite a lot of history. So maybe you've been running a lot of commands in the integrated terminal. You can see that this is now finished up and it was printing output for a few seconds here. So there's quite a lot of output that has been printed. If, however, I scroll up here to the very top of the terminal, you can see that it's just sort of been cut off uh, halfway through the output here. So it is not showing all of the uh, files in the repository. It, some of the output has been lost in this case. And that is because we are only saving by default the most recent 1,000 lines of output here. And that is just kind of an optimization that the integrated terminal does. Um, but you might, in some cases, actually want more of this output to be saved so you can see all of the output from a command or again, so you can access more of your history. And that's where the integrated terminal scrollback setting comes into play. So let's open up the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac. And I'm gonna search for a terminal scrollback. And again, you can see that the default value of this is it is going to have um, 1000 lines that it keeps around. Now, if we wanted to increase this, we could just go and set this to whatever number we want. So I could add a few zeros here. And let's go do the same thing again. So again, I will run ls-r in the integrated terminal. You can see it's printing out the same output here and just give it a few seconds to complete. So now that command is completed. But now if I go into the integrated terminal and I go scroll to the top here, you can see that I can actually see the original command that was saved off here. So I have the entire command execution that has now been saved into the integrated terminal. Now keep in mind that if you increase the scroll back, the integrated terminal will need to allocate additional memory. So you might not want to set this value to something super large like I did here for demonstration purposes, but you can probably safely set this to something like 10,000 or a number like that, whatever you find works best for your workflow. So that's a quick look at the terminal integrated scrollback setting for VS Code.